my name is Ramsey and welcome back to Against the Storm. Alright, we are here on another loop, another cycle of the storm. And I'm going to be trying to work to get towards one of the seals. These seals have a consequence that extends the cycle duration permanently when completed. Uh, I've already been given the uh, credit. I guess is the word I'm looking for here, uh, for having conquered all but the final two... Actually, it looks like all but the final seal. Cobalt already has its consequence ticked off there. Cycle duration permanently increased by 48. So titanium steel uh, seal, rather, is the final one and will increase the duration permanently by another eight. So that's going to be a unique mission. It's going to require that I have 75 seal fragments. I get... 7 by default just by completing something, uh, and as long as I complete some of these modifiers as well along the way, then the modifiers are going to give me chests, and I can use those chests to ask for more seal fragments. Ultimately, I want to build up generally in this direction, because it seems like there's a relative density that I can go along of different points of interest. Uh, though I don't really want to start with Corrosive Torrent, I could, admittedly, I don't feel too bad about the idea of settling into either of these two spots, but settling down here next to the Monastery of the Holy Flame, you cannot forbid consumption or favor any species. I often utilize that, but I think I'd be fine not to, whereas I think I'm a little more scared of the idea of going to a Scarlet Orchard and not being able to destroy any buildings. No resources would be refunded after destroying a building. I go here, I can start going up here, and it's a little untoward, but it does hit more points of interest. Okay, yeah, this is the one I'm gonna go with. And I've only really got Royal Woodlands that I can settle here, so I'll take it. Oh well, yeah, just start with a bunch of beavers in the Royal Woodlands. Not our bad. Ooh, resin. Resin in the trees. Resin in the trees and berries is a very common resource in the area as well. Okay, I can support harpies quite effectively here. Resin in the trees makes it much easier to turn the resin into uh, pigment and then use the pigment to make scrolls so I can educate both the beavers and harpies. The berries can be used for making pie as well as wine for the beavers, as well as pickled goods for the beavers. Yeah, feel pretty good about this. We are also moving up to Prestige 12, which we can also see already ticked off there. Fewer blueprints to choose from, as well as all of the previous modifiers on top. Hell yeah. I'm excited to get into this. Let's... Take the Harpy and Beaver split. Comes with 10 people by default, as well as 14 fabric and 14 bricks. Would be much easier to house the Harpies early with that. Okay. Yep, I'm settled. Uh, this Citadel. I believe the last one was uh, Neko Holm. Which makes this a uh, Lawson. Cool. As for our embarkation bonuses, we've got a discount on vegetables and meat here, as well as deficiency in starting food, so I feel like taking some starting food in with me seems like a really good idea. Herbalist's cat does seem like it'd be pretty good in this area. Berries and is it vegetables? You can't get vegetables with this. Mushrooms and herbs. Oh, okay, so maybe not the herbalist camp even. Trapper's camp seems like it'd be fine. Uh, I almost wonder if maybe I want to consider a farm of some kind instead, though. Or, and this would be bold dropping one of the vegetables or meat for the training gear delivery line so that it's much easier for me to break into all of the chests as I find them. Yeah. I've really, really been enjoying that so far. Uh, I could 
theoretically try and use the ale delivery line instead, but I really like that this gives me the ability to break into and also solve a lot of the events that I find in Dangerous and Forbidden Glades. Time to embark. All right, what do we have here? For our positive mystery, we have the soil become saturated during the rain's essence during drizzle season, resource nodes depleted during the drizzle season spawn fertile soil. I never feel like this spawns enough fertile soil near enough to other fertile soil to really justify itself. I don't, I don't rate this one, unfortunately. Our negatives are a little bit worse. Okay, we've got to get everyone housed because at hostility one they get negative fine penalty for their uh, resolve. Although, wait. Oh wow, housing is a need to fulfill to avoid all of these. Uh, swarms, if everyone's housed, they are not going to get a negative two penalty to their resolve every 60 seconds. Then there's Melancholy, if everyone has complex food and housing, they can avoid the downside of this, which is, again, a negative two penalty to their result. Every 60 seconds. And then Downpour, if they have housing and services, they can avoid a plus 50% chance of consuming double the amount of food during a break. Honestly, if I feel like the forest mystery positive here isn't good, that's completely okay because none of these negatives are that bad either. And they're also things that are going to be very, very simple to try and avoid. Okay. So I do want to focus on housing first. Mm! What? Workshop! I, yes, and I can instantly make it. What? I'm actually not going to continue choosing for the moment. I'm going to construct this workshop immediately. What the hell? And then I'm going to tell this workshop that I need up to 24 planks at any one time so that I can start generating beaver houses much more consistently. And I will want fabric as well, but I'm not going to be able to get fabric immediately. So yeah, I've only got copper and... Sorry, that's clay uh, and roots here in the base. Um, that'll work. Good gosh. Uh, yes, I do have a harpy in the half. That's good. Definitely preferred. Gonna need to get as much wood as quickly as possible because I am gonna be looking to make a bunch of planks after this. The harpies are going to be difficult to house individually for a while, so I'll probably be putting them in a big shelter. So hold a secret cookbook. Jerky for each pie. Um... Pie is a relatively complex production chain to get to, and the beavers don't like it. The harpies do like jerky and pie, but if I get, like, uh, I guess lizards? If I get lizards as my third here, who also like both pie and jerky, then Sahilda's becomes a much easier choice. I could start to re-roll here. Or maybe I could just wait until I see who else I have. That doesn't seem like a good idea. Export specialization, plus one to production yields for all packs of goods is fine. A lot of these are too long game. I want something that's initially a boost or bonus for us. Silent looting is... I, I keep taking it. I keep taking it because it's good. <laughs> it's, it helps me manage my hostility. I already have a line for the tools that will open the chests. Uh, silent looting, by the by, every time I open or send an abandoned cache to the Citadel, hostility is lowered by 15 points. Very easy for us to do, what with the training gear delivery line. The 
couple orders coming in. Exploration wants me to hit five glades. Or deliver five tools. Five tools will come with ten fabric and ten bricks. Ooh, I do like ten fabric and ten bricks. Wait, what? I, I don't have ten fabric and ten bricks right now, do I? Oh, that was the starting bonus. Yes, I do. Oh, okay. I can get my harpy houses up already. Oh, what great news. I am thinking about the bathhouse here. If I had one person in the bathhouse, villages with lower resolve would leave the town 30% slower. Eh, it's fine. Uh, but a global production rate being 25% faster and all it costs me is putting three people into a bathhouse, and this bathhouse is low cost. In fact, I would be able to build it really early. Though it is up against the Tinkerer. The Tinkerer does have training gear as a production, don't really care about that. Uh, it can make packs of building materials. I theoretically could care about that at some point, but realistically the power in this is in the ability to make tools. which would require probably uh, a long chain to make crystallized dew. Because there's not going to be much copper on this map. So I'm not going to be making many tools out of copper. I don't think I need that tinkerer. I do think the bathhouse might be correct. Second choice for a service building though. It feels wrong. While I truly believe I could do it, I'm not going to break into another glade yet. Especially with the workshop already up, I feel like I'm much, much better positioned to focus on my sustainability here in the home base for a while. All right, I'm going to move the... Where are ya? There we go. This woodcutting crew down to here because I'd like to expand my area where I can actually fit some houses. So yes, we should start having some plant fiber coming from the trees, giving us the ability to start making some fabric, hopefully to finish off our Harvey house. Um, I do have, yeah, a freestanding worker still. So I should probably get them to start developing a beaver house. Or perhaps more. So we're only going to have one person of the Harpies uh, unaffected, oh, sorry, affected rather, by the Under an Open Sky modifier, which should be fine, especially because they're currently consuming clothing. Not that I could stop them even if I really wanted to, uh, because of the modifiers we're working with. No forbidden consumptions allowed. But because of that, they should certainly make it through the storm quite comfortably. I don't need to choose the bathhouse until I would have the ability to make it anyway right now. So, I'll be holding off for a bit. Scoping out to see whether or not any of these have a huge amount of plant fiber. This would be really handy if they did. I mean, look, if I'm doing nothing else, I might as well do some scaffolding here at the moment. That'll work. Here rolls in the storm. In fact, we are going to house the final harpy before the start of that. Uh, yeah, nothing I need to do. Well, I say before the start of that, immediately after the start of that. How about that? And it looks like we've even got the ability to get another beaver house up. And the final one. Hell yeah. Okay, so all of our housing is completed. Well, I say all of our housing. I guess it doesn't technically count if it's all of our housing right now. Just because we're about to get new people. Exploration, cut through to discover five, and the workers on Glade events can be assigned more. 
No, I really do want the fabric as a bonus here. Because I can get bricks. I'm not using bricks, but I can get bricks because I've got clay in my area at the moment. Fabric is the thing I'm waiting on the most. And also, it's worth noting, a lot of other things will give us five tools, or six tools often, as a reward. So as soon as I finish another order, I might be able to then finish funding the expedition. Delivery trade routes and find packs of crops. Eh. Eh. It's fine, you know. Use any rainwater in production engines. This is 40 porridge. Does any of these eat porridge? No, no porridge for any of you. It's going to be hard to decide which of these two I want to go for until I get my newcomers, but they should arrive halfway through the storm, so we should be fine on that as well. Welcome. It's a fox! I do love foxes. And I'll just take as many as I can possibly get right now. Fox's resolve is low, of course, yeah, because they're the only one here. Uh, oh, and I'm not going to be able to favor them. Ooh, okay. I might actually have to do some sacking to get through this season. Oh, that's a bit frustrating. Maybe I shouldn't have accepted them yet. Because the foxes have very specific housing needs. They're going to need crystallized dew in order to get them their favored housing. Field location for Geyser, yeah, it's fine. Hmm. Let's just reposition you here for a moment so that I can try and position my final beaver house much more comfortably. Great. New orders have arrived in. Hunter-gatherers. Camp production is increased by 100%, but buildings that use fertile soil have their yields decreased by 50%. I don't have a problem with that. Bonus does not affect the woodcutter's camp. That's okay. I don't really have a farming species here, which is to say I don't have humans. Uh, and beavers can farm, but in very limited contexts. Compared to humans, at least. Falling cart, also a pretty good pick here, just the ability to transport resources between buildings, a lot more efficiency without having to have haulers. But I think hunter-gatherers, especially before I've even taken a single farm, makes the most sense. Uh, let's also get all the woodcutters to be beavers. Workshop seems to be going fine. got three free at the moment. I was considering using them to maybe make another woodcutters, but especially with the fact that the treatment service is shared by the foxes and the harpies, it makes it a lot easier at this point to choose the bathhouse. Brickyard Granary. So neither of these needs to be chosen on the strength of its ability to generate the resource. I mean, sure, Bricks is making, or Brickyard rather, is making Bricks at a better rate than our workshop at the moment, but realistically, I don't need to improve that rate anyway. Pickled goods from the granary are a favor of both the beavers and foxes. So the granary certainly leaps out ahead. Can make it out of eggs or berries, both very common resources here. The, the main difficulty is whether or not I want to take the brickyard for its ability to make pottery. Because it can make pottery not at the best rate in the entire game. There's the stamping mill, which is three star, but it's a second rate. It's pretty good. 
Mm, I would take a bakery if I were offered one, though. Let's hop back to our orders for a second here. So rainwater condenser plus one to stormwater production. I know that the geyser that's been spotted here directly next to my base is stormwater, and I know that stormwater can be used to fuel a workshop. So I'm certainly not against that. I could complete this pretty quickly, and it would give me 40 porridge, and I know that the uh, foxes like porridge, so we'll do that. Hydraulics. Produce six pipes and then deliver six pipes. That would give me plus one to copper bar production, which is unlikely to occur many times. Note that there's no copper as a general natural resource here. I think I can get copper if I pull up the clay, but it's not common. Or amber trade. Spoiler alert, amber trade is giving me two wildfire essence as well as the box of tools to complete my other mission, so it's going to be the amber trade. Work break. Don't fell any trees for the next 510 seconds. Get plus 20% to the woodcutter's move speed, as well as 30 coal and 15 amber. I don't think I can take that. Clothing the people. Fulfill your villagers' need for clothing 35 times. I believe this will count the clothing I've already done. And it'll give me a plus one to fabric production, five provisions, and five parts. Yeah. It counts all 50 that I've already completed there. Herbalist's Trial. Deliver 50 herbs and 50 berries. Ooh, it would give plus three to tea production as well as an alchemist's hut. Oh, that'd be so good, but I can't take that. I literally cannot complete it. <laughs> I'm not able. Uh, keep the beaver's resolve high as well as sell 16 worth of amber. It's just gonna have to be the one I take. I really wish I could take Herbalist's trial. I need to break into a glade something fierce. I'm looking for this one to the north. We'll move this up so that I can complete clearing that other area for my friends there. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to wait for an event to resolve my fox house, but maybe I think... Maybe. Certainly, I think I should benefit from putting down a big shelter just as a catch for anyone who doesn't manage to get housed by other things. So realistically, I don't even need to make the beaver house at the moment. All right, let's see what's going on in here. Search the lower deck. Hostilities increased by 330, but each ongoing trade route decreases it. Oh, coats. I don't have coats. Max of trade goods are worth 25% more when sold through traders. 40 pottery as well as plus one to production yields. It's looking like I'm going to have to give nine parts to this in order to search the lower deck. It's seeming like the only real option I have, unfortunately. Uh, I can break open the larger men in cash. And with a bunch of oil and other things, that seems like a great idea. Poppy houses cost me six, but I can rebuild this one for four. Ooh. Getting away with an absolute steal. Oh, uh, there's also no fabric in the area. Ooh. That's not what I'm looking for. I think the fact of the matter is that I do need a really, really good receptacle so that I can give luxury wine to both the beavers and foxes, as well as pickled goods to both the beavers and foxes, as well as uh, treatment in tea to both the foxes and harpies. All of those are going to require a receptacle. So I think, because barrels are gonna require a metal, which is gonna be very difficult for me to obtain and use, And leather is not common on this map either. I think the brickyard has to be what I take here, as much as I would have wanted to take something else. Druid's Hunt and Rain Mill. Rain Mill gives us some lower tier production of scrolls. The Druid's Hut, realistically, is a... 
source of all the oil we will ever need, as well as the ability to suddenly generate coats. Which I want, not because the harpies and beavers both like coats, but because it will open up my ability to take search the upper deck as a result here. Destroys a random cornerstone in your possession. If I don't complete this in time, it destroys a random cornerstone in my possession? Okay, never mind. I'm I'm completing this immediately with parts. I don't have the ability to, in the next, what, four minutes to then account for shipping time as well, generate enough planks and coats. It's not happening. It's not happening. The only way I can do this is by searching the lower deck and sending a bunch of parts off. I don't like it, but I gotta do it. Well then. There we go, we've got everyone housed now. Let's open this lower glade as well so that I can get my geyser running. Making sure that it was in the right orientation there. I'm holding on this decision because I don't know how I'm going to consistently fund the druid's hut. Like, yes, I get plant fiber out of the trees, but at the moment, that's also my only source of fabric. So I just don't see myself cutting that. Uh, Flaxfield, or plant fiber. I do need that. So I will generate a building to take it. Thank you. And I'm going to do the same for the stormwater. I should also make sure that I generate some aesthetic resources here. I always put them so close to the main warehouse, but that's also where I mainly want to operate, so realistically I should be doing it literally anywhere else. Like, as far as I can. So sure. Let's do that. As soon as another person arrives to the camp as well, because I already have space in the housing, uh, we'll be able to ascend to the next level after this, so maybe I even want to decorate further. So we'll put some fences around a... Uh, a couple of cages. And down here it looks like we could use a decorative fungus as well as a coral. That'll do the trick.
Lone Food. Okay, at least I do have the ability to start just harvesting some food. So I'm certainly not as worried as I could have been. I'm not getting some food back from the merchant shipwreck though. Should start thinking about getting my brickyard as well as where are we? Trading post up. Too hasty in going for the next level of encamp uh, encampment. Encampment here, rather. Just feels like I'm pretty likely to accept them as soon as I can get them. Get the fox starting to generate some. Rainwater for us, so that I have the ability to start using the engine. 16 the value of goods sold, and 16 the value of goods sold. So if I use a trader to sell, quote unquote, sell, uh, 16 amber for something in their stock, that will knock both of those to complete. Uh, newcomers, welcome, welcome. I don't really need the pottery. I also do like more beavers, pretty much always, but oh, I'll be fine. I'll take the harpies here. And in fact, I should probably reclaim that harpy house as well. So everyone's housed, so they're not affected by bees, the open sky nor the swarms, but they are still affected by negative four global resolve for each of the levels, which puts the harpies and the foxes under here. Uh, so the best way for me to avoid that would be taking people off of woodcutting, just in general. If I really wanted to, I could get a fox to be in the hearth right now, to try and lower more hostility that way. Two woodcutters on the job, and that's enough. Okay, we're good. With only two woodcutters on the job. Oh, the foxes aren't going to be happy enough unless they're specifically getting rainwater for us at the moment. Okay, well, fine. I'm going to open the large abandoned cache here. Because it's full of food and oil and clay and other good things. As soon as these harpies are free, it has become a wee bit more comfortable again. As I can set them on more food gathering, as well as completing the actual buildings that I've been setting up this entire time. Uh, my foxes! Why are you sad? You should be happy! Increase the production speed in this building. Oh, yeah, it's, it's hunger. Literally one of them is affected by hunger, and it's enough to make all of them sad. But that hunger should start resolving itself. Yeah, I'm bringing food back at the moment. So I should be able to favor them and then unfavor them, maybe. No! I literally can't favor them at this point. I briefly forgot about that. Alright, we're gonna do some sacking. 
Gotta keep that fox somehow. So brick production should still be handled in that building. If it's going to be handled at all. And pottery production certainly as well. You're telling me I'm low on food? That's okay. I am getting more. Honestly, sell 40 packs of oil for 15 with the first Thorn Company? Great. Fill the need for luxury 60 times and I get plus two to wine production. Five biscuits a minute. And I get the market. The market does give us luxury access, but I don't really mind. Plus five to water skin, which I can't really utilize, and it asks me to do something I'm really gonna struggle to do. Compared to ruins, luxury is very attainable, and I'm already on the road to do it. Advanced district here. Yeah. Almost certainly. Yeah, because I didn't even take the tinkerer, so the building packs materials are much harder to make. Advanced District, plus one to Planks Production is always really, really nice to have. And we'll also get 20 Crystallized Dew. We can start making some personalized housing. I think I just go for Woodcutter's Camp's production is 35% quicker. Nothing half wrong with that. There's our Druid's Hut. Ooh, Scribe! That's the best scroll production in the entire game, and I have two of the species here. That is to say, a full, a full amount of the species here who want education. Herbalist's camp does seem like it'd be useful. Plus one resolve, just in general. Oh, I really want that. I think I should get a bunch of food off of you, Sahilda. Right. I forgot that my stuff doesn't cost much. Hmm. I can't lose all of my money because I need to still have 10 of it to give to the Amber Trade event. So that means I can only put 20 in. Which means, realistically, I'm just waiting for the end of my trade route in order to complete this. Wow, 27 eggs. Yikes. So yeah, I've only sold 10 amber worth of goods but as soon as this route goes through it'll complete the amber trade event in fact it'll even give me enough amber to complete the event itself Ugh. which means yeah i guess i can spend my next 10 still and i still do want more food
dire state of affairs we're in. I'm doing good on other building materials at the end, at least. These are really where I want to put the bathhouse, but I'll do it. Uh, black rot's going to be a problem pretty soon. As in, literally as soon as we get the clearance, so I should get my light post down as soon as possible as well. Wait, oh, that's the trader just about to leave. Um, yeah, I had nothing to do with you. It's gonna be difficult to three, uh, free up the three full people to work in the bathhouse at the moment. So I suppose I won't. I simply shan't. I'm also not making any bricks at the moment, which is... I don't think I need to make any pottery just yet either. Mm -hmm. Because with nothing to buy, sick. Let's go cut down them trees, huh? Everyone's still housed. We've got foxes blissed out of their mind on porridge and skewers. Really helping with our food problems at the moment. Newcomers in three minutes. Yep, high level corruption. Additional black rot cysts have appeared. And we're probably going to get another one from the workshop pretty soon as well. Um, yep, I should now have the bricks for this. Wait. No, you just went on break. You didn't even deliver the bricks. Rude. Not the scam that's nearly by. All good. Thankfully, we get back the full amount from it right here. Keep the builder open so that I can complete the blight post, because we should be able to do that now. There we go. And yeah, with 11 cysts, I'm going to need to get some people in there starting to work. Um, those people ought to be harpies. I'd say. Oh, newcomers arrived. Hell yeah. Uh, also, my amber trade is finished, which is even more newcomers, and then that's also completing funding the expedition, which is not more newcomers, but it's still good. I have currently 15 people total. No! I got the additional two from completing the quest. Okay, so I don't need to choose based on which gets me to 20. But I also don't need those bricks. Eh. 24 versus 18 food. I don't think that's a significant difference. Fine. 
I'll get as many humans as I can. Throw you into the bathhouse, that's boss production speed for us. Let's also try and free up some extra harpies to head over to the blight post and start preparing us for the storm. Definitely feel like I should break into another glade as soon as I can. Oh, do I want to go forbidden? I don't really generate a diversity of resources at this point, but... It does sound good. Do I need to float 50 planks at all times? The answer may surprise you when I say it's yes. Weaver and Carpenter. Realistically, the value here is in Carpenter, and it's exclusively in Carpenter for the ability to make packs of luxury goods, because then I can ju uh, I can uh, generate, sorry, my packs of goods out of a resource that I'm already getting a huge amount of in the training gear, or I can turn tea, which I'm also going to generate at quite a good rate, or scrolls, which I'm also going to generate at quite a good rate, into packs of luxury goods, sell those off. Compared to the Weaver, blows it out of the water. The only other option is whether or not I hold on to wait for more amber so that I can reroll. Because still, that isn't enthusing to get. I still have enough uh, stormwater not to worry about sending anyone to work on that at the moment. Not everyone has complex food, so that's that's still going to be a problem, but melancholy. But also the harpies are really sad for some reason. I don't really know why. take pretty much everyone off of wood cutting, I think. And replace our path with a fox in order to lower hostility even further. Uh, it's enough to keep the harpies happy. Ish. They might not be happy, but they're not currently running away. And that'll have to be enough. Okay, we've knocked off a huge amount of the Black Rod already. We've only got five more cysts left up. This is a survivable storm. And I do actually want to start getting pottery. Could have been using stormwater for that the entire time. I will eventually get an automaton in here. Just doesn't feel necessary yet. Still need to use more rainwater. Guess I almost want to tell them to make up to a hundred of those, but that's just wasteful at that point. We gotta find something else for you all to do. Hopefully something productive. So yeah, let's let's finish some decoration. Yeah, 
space for two more. Delicacies of that type. And then... You know what? Let's go for like a pipe somewhere. Get a valve immediately afterwards, a T connector joining into a pipe cross. That pipe cross leads around the corner and then down. Okay, so I only need two more spaces. Which means that that shouldn't be a T-section anymore. Okay. This should be comfy. Try not to design as lazily as I have previously. I think you're already well positioned for the next storm. Rolling on out. Let's have a look at these borders. Export 12 trade routes. It does give us eight parts, and I do need parts because of what I've already done. What with the whole getting rid of all my parts. Yep. All right, I'll take it. But I'm gonna need to start generating some packs of trade goods. I can easily pop a scribe and a druid's hut. Right there, very close to the main warehouse. Very close to the ancient hearth as well. Let's have a look at our new cornerstone. One amber for every 50 wood produced. Eh, not awful, I guess. All well, buildings cost 40% less. No, I'm really good at making the resources for making buildings, so that's not useful for me. Impatience grows 30% slower for 180 seconds every time you finish a trade route. I don't think that's especially impactful, to be entirely honest. And workers have 25% chance of producing more than double... Uh, producing double yields, rather, when the hearth's expected corruption rate is 150% or higher. Which I'm going to be actively managing the entire time. Lumber tax is the only one here that seems useful at all to me. But it doesn't seem that useful. Woodco's prayer. Lose all fuel. Only 140 wood. And then I get plus one to all wood production. And I'm using beavers to cut down the wood as well, so they often get double production. Honestly? Oh. Uh, we, we also have rooty ground, though. Wood production is increased by plus one, and harvesting and planting are 25% slower. But the thing is, I've already forsaken harvesting and planting because of the woodcutter's camp, so I can take rooty ground with no penalty. Oh my yeah. god. Yeah. Hmm. I do suspect I'm going to want a third woodcutter's camp for a period of time here. And one of you should start opening something. Considering I can't make a really wide diversity of different resources at the moment, I really do feel like the woodcutter's camp still has to go for a dangerous rather than a forbidden. Boom. There we go. That 
that's our ancient hearth reaching district level so we get the extra 10 percent higher chance of producing double yields at all times and that's double yields on top of our double yields from all camp productions increased by 100 percent are you serious the same event again merchant shipwreck i don't have another 10 parts to give you I do have the bricks or fabric, I just don't have the coats at the moment either. And Scribe, a building I already have. Wow. This is not going up our way. Well. What do I want to do about that? Um, I don't... I do have coat production available. All right, well, that's what we're doing about it. Gonna have to make up to 50 coats in order to have 30 left over for that. 40 leather, 40 clay, and we'll also get 20 reed and clay every time we discover a glade. that resource. Oh wow, that actually spawned a lot of soil. Okay, maybe this has been buffed and it spawns not just a fertile soil on its own position, but a couple of positions around because there wasn't that much in the, the roots either. So maybe I should consider starting to optimize around that. Unfortunately, it wouldn't be it wouldn't make sense for this build at this point because I got hunter gatherers as well as rooty grounds, so planting and harvesting is like 75% less efficient for us at this point. Um, let's get y'all in there. And then I do need some foxes. to start shipping things out to the merchant there. That'll do it. And to the merchant, you'll be taking bricks, because they're the easiest thing for me to make. Small foragers camps there. Uh, stone cutting? Do I really want to get stone cutting right now? Probably not. Get single herbalist's camp here comfortably though. Realistically, extra plant fiber is still really good for us. Newcomers have arrived. I will welcome them with open arms for pipes. Do you like pipes? But I want more foxes. Yeah, I often feel limited by the amount of foxes that I don't have. That's another big house for them all to stay in. I am starting to run out of clay again, so that tells me that it is time to get a clay miner up. Yeah, 
that are currently idling because they're waiting for deliveries of coats to come through. I guess means I should probably get some people in the main warehouse starting to work there. I'm not going to be able to complete that. Actually, unless... Ah, I can. Perfect. There's enough clay left over in the brickyard to salvage that. Okay. One more coming back to the ingredients. Oh, that's not enough. Oh man, the Agri production's real slow. <sighs> Boy. I don't have that clearance water type, unfortunately. Please export these immediately. Yep, the hauler came and took some, and okay, this mission is going to start. It looks like I will be able to complete this mission on time before it destroys a random cornerstone in the settlement, because that would be real bad. Um, Aaron won't be happy, so I'll go take Aaron woodcutting. I'll do the job for the moment. The harpies are really sad, actually. Do the harpies have a favored job at the moment I can put them on? No. Yeah, none of this is just directly working with fabric, which is the one thing they like to do. Mm. How am I going to manage that now, then? Resources for them. I mean, they will eventually start just wearing the clothing. That's nice. Not gonna solve all the problems, though. Yeah, it looks like I'm probably gonna have to do some sacrificing. And I'm gonna let you take those coats all the way in. There we go, before I change to a fox in the ancient hearth so that I can lower the hostility level a bit further. Scribe. Yeah, I've got to tick off certain constructions so that I don't just absent-mindedly make things that I don't want, or rather ship resources absent-mindedly to areas I don't want them to be. getting a lot happier because we're starting to deliver some tea as well as the clothing at the same time. Only just going to finish this before I would have lost the cornerstone. Woof. Nightmare. Oh, looks like I do actually have a um, light, uh, light system at the moment. There we go. Burn that off. Can't accept to fill the engines yet. That would push me over. In terms of hostility, that is. Cutting speed will increase by 10% for every 150 engine uh, units of water used in rain engines. I am already committed to doing that. When the trader arrives, they'll pay you. The trader literally just arrived, so I already miss out on that 10 amber. 
Newcomers come with 40% more goods for every half level gained. It's not bad, but then I have to start accepting everyone in order to be able to do anything. I don't think I need driving water either. I'm going to take a reroll. Plus two to vegetables production could be great. I just need to discover some vegetables first. Uh, there's the stamping mill for the best pottery production in the game. Tea infuser, pickle jars. Wow, all of these are sick for me. And I absolutely cannot afford any of them. Bliss. So, so cruel. Just showing me all of these beautiful things I can't have. Final order, playing with fire. Cut through the forest to discover four dangerous or forbidden glades, but it's showing the image for the forbidden glades, interestingly. And then complete any three glade events. Not really relevant. Three ancient tablet, two dangerous or forbidden glade events, and three glades in general, legitimately. Both of these will finish at around the same rate. This one gives me parts, though, so I'm taking Master of Exploration. I don't think I can get up into the Forbidden Glade fast enough. Realistically, if I want to do that, I probably want to set up another half along the way. Basically as far as I can, probably. Because this would be a nice middle ground for some of the resources from each of these. And you know what? I'll start pushing in that direction, certainly. But in the meantime, I do want to still break open a glade. It has to be this one. It's the only one I can reasonably expect to do. Still haven't got the reroll here, so you know what? I would like five amber, and I will give you whatever I need to do to get that five amber. I'd prefer if that was just selling you copper ore. But I understand if some parts need to be involved. You're driving a hard bargain. Want some fabric? A little bit of fabric? I'll throw some fabric in. Greenhouse is fertile soil, so doesn't really give me any value. Um, so up against Smithy. Smithy is something that engineers function well in. Makes pipes and tools, as well as back to trade goods. Trade goods can be made with the pottery that I'm good at making. Yeah. Temple. Religion and education. It's up against the farm, so realistically it's temple. Negative 50 hostility from the amount of sacrifice, uh, sacrifices rather I've already done, as well as the ability to deliver education to our people. That's the real, real benefit there. That education is still going to require that I can make pigment or wine, which I still can't do, so I still can't make scrolls reliably. But we're going to be moving in that direction, so... Please find a bunch of vegetables when I break into this glade. That would make my decision so easy. Oh, I love an easy decision. Oh, nothing better. all my money. 
Hello, newcomers. I was still trying to decide whether I went... No, but none of these are benefits for newcomers. Okay, we're all good. Leisure for field is not going to happen commonly. I'm not going to make that much ale. I can't do spices, so it's just giant vegetables. I'm just going to take it. I don't need beavers as much as I need other things. Y'all will do. Vegetables. There are roots, which I can't get because I don't have a big foragers camp for them. <laughs> uh, that's really unfortunate. Oh, but plus two to root production and plus two to resin production. Resin comes from trees here. This is going to be sick for us. Uh, the real downside is I'm going to need to find the foragers camp. And it's... Oh, boy. That's just not going to be easy for us. But spawns two black rot cysts for every 120 sec uh, every 120 seconds rather for every two dangerous glades discovered, which is now one, two, three. Over the moon to do that. Let's also open this cache for 20 bricks, 30 pottery, and 5 purging fire. I recognize there's the ability to welcome new people in here, but I actually want the money more than people. Rhapsody betrays their values live. Should definitely get down more housing here though. Uh, let's also just make at there. Eh, no, I've got fifteen. Fifteen, uh, purging fire already. I shouldn't need more than that right now. Yep, additional black rot cysts. Makes sense. And now I have enough to be a problem. That's still okay. This event ought to be done relatively soon. Shop not working. I do feel like I just don't have anything to do with a lot of these people, and a lot of the time it's because I just don't have enough parts. Like, building wise, what could they be doing? You could make a smithy. It's just, you know, fine. Do I need a smithy? Right now? Not really. I should probably get the temple down as well, though. It's just I want to put the temple in range of another half. And you can't move service buildings easily, at least. Uh, so I want to plan out where the new temple is going to go with respect to where the new small hearth is also going to go. That's a lot of cysts. Merchant shipwrecks coming up done. Yay!
Take everyone off woodcutting, and yeah, we're still gonna start losing people. Pop some sacrifices. Oh. That'll do. Just enough to keep them happy. They're consistent as well. Pretty thankful for the perks we just picked up. The steel pen knives and the bleeding trees. That mushroom has to be finished soon, right? As it turns out, the answer is yeah. Fox's resolve is low. What? I think we'll be able to get through the rest of the storm without them running away yet. Worst case scenario, I actually don't have the ability to up my sacrifice two levels. Oh, no, they are running away a lot faster than I want them to. Okay. Let's put two of you in a brickyard. There we go. That's enough. I'm going to make a lot of packs of trade goods and sell them. Legitimately, I think that'll be clutch as hell. Herb garden plantation. No. What about 18 gold worth of packs of trade goods? What do you got to say about that, huh? I don't imagine you have anything cheap enough to supplement here. That'll work. Ooh, me, me, me. Well, got, uh... <laughs> Game one part every time you sell goods worth 25 amber. That would solve our parts problem. But it also asks me to start trading. But also, I do need to start trading. Again, I'm gonna go for the broader one, especially because I do like the idea of having some more pipes. Can refill up all of the woodcutters camps, of course. So many boxes doing nothing right now. Okay. I think it's time. That's where the half is going to go. I need to clear out as much space as I can, as quickly as I can. There we go, for the small levels camp.
happy to take it apart because now I can start making more camps for other things. I am using fabric constantly for the worst coat production in the game. I don't think I should be doing that. I think I should be making oil though. I'm going to turn the coat production off. And then... I'll drop a harvester's camp to get more of these flax fields up. that job for a bit. You don't need to stay. No, I will give them the opportunity to try and uh, break into the dangerous glade here. It's almost time for the path itself. There we go. Uh, yep, I have enough fuel to burn those cysts. All good on that front. Spirits. Each unique service building adds two to the global resolve. That sounds great to me. And I only need to give you oil or resin. I have so much resin, I don't have enough amber at the moment, though. Um, I don't have the ability to make tools to generate that amber. How do I most quickly generate amber? Eggs, meat, or insects. Don't have the ability to utilize that right now. How quickly does this need to be resolved? Ooh, much more quickly than I want to have to resolve that right now. Do I have any amber on the horizon in my missions? No. trade goods would sell so well right now. I do need to get a makeshift post. Hostility even further by popping those open. Debris bush. Mm. 
Currently one short in this area for getting a district. But I can make my temple very easily. And that's gonna help us get even further uh, hostility reduction. Got a lot of wood, so yeah, I can sacrifice to get through the storm. I should be okay on that front, to be absolute least. It's just getting enough money so that I can complete this. It'll give negative five to global resolve as well as one impatience point, but I can resolve that afterwards. And in doing so, remove those negatives. So I don't necessarily need to immediately solve it, but it makes it even more stressful not to. I just want to get it down to my mind. Be dumb. One other way to do this right now would be to call Jadani immediately. I'm doing it. Okay, that's by far the easiest way to do it. None of the other options are as efficient as this. Jadani's gonna arrive. There we go. Hello. And to you, I will sell all of my packs of trade goods. I don't need an herbalist camp is the thing. What I need is a forager's camp. Would have taken it if it was on offer though. To you that harmony spirit altar, please send resin and amber. That's going to be plus four to our global resolve. That's great. I'm not capable of harvesting most of the food on the map at the moment. I'm gonna get some of the food out of the abandoned cache at the absolute least right now, which is gonna make that a bit easier for a moment. Positions. Everyone off woodcutting, please. No complex food is currently being fulfilled. And I do feel like I'm going to need a box in the hearth. Because then I have the ability to go all the way down to only one hostility. Back when no one wanted to run away. Okay, so we've made a lot of oil. And the fabric is getting made at a really good rate as well. Entirely out of coats. I 
the translation rate that gives me fabric. Three fabric becomes three, but then three coats. Sorry, three uh, fabric becomes coat. Yeah, honestly, I should still run that. That's still worthwhile. I'm trying to justify whether or not I can take people off of harvesting. But I am using all the plant fiber constantly. Harvesting is giving me some insects at least as well. should be especially lazy with the design of this one either. This one is plugged into the ground. First two levels here. Are you all not doing any idling? Why? Oh my god, I told them that they can't make any purging fire. Thankfully, they still had enough purging fire to be able to complete it. Uh, 36 herbs. Realistically, I want to take the herbs and it's exclude. Wow. On one at the moment. Interesting. Stop sacrificing those. Accept a bunch of new people. Realize I need to sacrifice again. Alright, we're all good. I probably don't need a fox and a half. Um, you know, I wanted the ability to make more packs of provision ice. With my herbs. up a plus one to our reinforced saw blades as well as 20 reinforced uh, sorry 20 reinforced 20 um but uh what's the name of it uh crystallized you that's what i'm looking for here and i should start trying to pop down some fox houses I do have the ability to generate crystallized dew at a really bad rate, but I should probably make sure that I always have like 15. Also, I've started to get trade routes accessible. Honestly, I would sell you crystallized dew first on company. If I sold you three stacks of that, I could get a relationship. That's not going to be finished and developed in time. Okay. I could sell some amber. I have so much clay. I can sell a bunch of that to the Vanguard of the Stolen Keys. I'll sell some amber as well. Copper. I'm also happy getting rid of a lot of copper for that translation rate. Supplier and skewer. Skewers are good for foxes here. Supplier is the ability to make flour. I don't want either of those realistically. Trade negotiations. Trade routes are worth one more amber. 
doesn't apply to routes already in progress, and the effect scales along with the quantity of goods exported. For bed and breakfast, every time a trader arrives, I get 10 amber. I'm going to start shipping things out much more consistently, but it's also going to be really hard because I don't have good food. So I'm going to struggle with bags and provisions a lot of the time. Maybe I take bed and breakfast, literally just give me some amber. Woodcutters back to expanding the terrain. Primary thing I really want out of them right now. And I will absolutely break into the Forbidden Glade, thank you. And there we go. Full global resolve from the converted Spirit Harmony Altar. even move that into the area of effect of the small half, and with that I only need eight more comfort and four more aesthetic. And I suspect now is when I will employ a lazy strat. Middlingly lazy. really want a forager's camp. Oh, hello, Drainage Mole. I can chase you away for only paying hostility and drainage gear. Sorry, training gear, rather. That's so simple. Although, if I don't do it, you'll destroy my entire new town. <laughs> so I'll definitely do it. Uh, I'm also going to break open this chest for some jerky. Nice food. And break this one open for some pie and incense. Hell yeah. Oh, we finally found big mushrooms, so the herbalist's camp would have been good now. I think I should have the resources. Yeah, I have the packs of provisions now to sell off a bunch of my copper ore. 35 amber. Hell yeah. That's great for building a relationship there. Let's say you can make up to 25 crystallized you at any one time. And you know what? Yeah, I should probably make sure that I have some tools on hand now that I have the ability to make crystallized dew much more easily. I'm so surprised by how difficult it's been to make the beavers happy. It's also a really good rate for pottery, but I want to sell more of it. Is there a clearance type geyser anywhere? Storm, drizzle, storm, and another storm down here, so no. So funding the Druid's Hut and the Scribe is a little harder than I otherwise would have wanted. However, I can make the Smithy faster. I'm not going to 
be able to ship any more pottery out before the end of this. Did I... Am I using pottery anywhere right now? I didn't think I was. Oh! Suppose I am. Um, moving that out of there gives me the ability to sell an additional stack. Grill and supplier. I'm still leaning most towards a reroll here. Manufacturing, 100%. So it gives me the ability to make pigments, so suddenly I can start educating, as well as the ability to make packs of provisions at a much better rate. It's one of the easiest decisions I've had to make. Oh, you can't make pigment out of resin! I could have sworn I would have staked my life on that claim. I don't think I do enough. some ancient tablets for the Master of Exploration to be truly complete, but I'm not really getting them right now. Hello, so far. Ooh, negative 50 hostility. Ooh, the tinctury. I have been looking for wine this whole time. I mean, like, presuming I did something, like, I, I can't get 20 off of you, that's, uh, it's absolutely impossible, I think. I could sell you pretty much every stack of every resource I have and not really get close. Are any of my trade routes going to come in before you leave? 39 seconds for an additional 10. And then I would only need to get 10 off of you. That does seem much more approachable. any of this food. Unfortunately, I simply don't know how. Uh, realistically, I don't need this stonecutter's camp at the moment. What I do need, though, is some berries. I'm not going to chase you away in time either. Oh, that's fine. I already got the... Yeah, 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 I already got the thing I wanted. Well, unless I want to get the Ways of the Forest with a negative 50 hostility instead. No, I need to start making wine yesterday. Wait. Oh, you're kidding me. I don't have anywhere I can serve the wine yet. <sighs> don't know how I didn't think about that. I mean, yeah, I could sell a bunch of pipes. Just doesn't seem like a good cost for them, frankly. You know what? 
gonna sell you two stacks. Cause that'll just be another trade route in between me and the next season. Sothor's about to leave. I already bought what I wanted from Sothor. Do it both ways there, just in case. Yeah, hunger is about to start setting in really heavily. This, this, this is just not going to be enough. I, eh, things are dire. I need food. It sells cooked food, Sir Renwald. I can call you for one impatience right now. Get all that cooked food back and then I can't even buy anything because I have no money. What a wild world we live in. my god, Forage's Camp is up. Um, cool. I'm going to... Uh, start destroying other camps. And just forcing deliveries. So that I can just start making camps. Um, for... All of these routes. Everyone out of the woodcutting! Mmm, newcomers intend to arrive with more food, and I do like that. Trade route to get fabric out of here, I do like that too. Wildfire essence for the worst available price, that's obviously not gonna happen. Um, I want more fabric so that I can get rid of it. I'm more than happy to do that. Perfect. That Palmas' camp going down will give me the ability to generate this one up here. boys are really clutch. <sighs> okay. I want to ship a full 45 out of here of the fabric if that's possible. Just get pigment production from. S yes, I have the the manufactory as well. Too. Supposedly, two harpies in there. Let's get a third. Have I gotten many parts from my ship things out in order to get parts? Yeah, four parts so far from free samples. Good. Glad to see it. That'll almost be another one just by itself. Ooh, roots are coming in. Strong.
Looks like everyone should remain fed. So, how do I use those roots? Oh, hang on. How do I use those roots most beneficially? You know. Food upkeep. Making flour and then biscuits. Uh, I really don't want to do that. I could make pickled goods. I could use a field kitchen to make pickled goods. I don't like it. But it will extend my food. I need this food to go a bit further. Travel cost on trade routes has decreased by one. That's incredible. It will give me the ability to do a lot of my trade routes without actually investing much into them. It's so much more food to feed these five harpies. Even if I do get some food for it, I think I'm passing up the six parts. Because those six parts give me the ability to immediately put down two more root uh, uh, harvests. starving. <laughs> the foxes never stop starving, okay? Let's also get y'all producing at a better rate. Don't have to prioritize pottery over everything else, but it is the only thing you're currently capable of making, so why don't you prioritize it over everything else? Manufactory doing? Ooh, you're also that same type of building, eh? I don't need to make pigment that quickly, frankly. Build the woodcutters camps with woodcutters. just to be happy right now. Plus 15% to woodcutting speed, 10 more in a box of tools, 30 biscuits? That's worthwhile at the moment as well. And the more I sacrifice, the more I increase the Sacrament of the Flame as well. I've got a lot of wood in the bank as well, I don't really need to worry about coming down for the sake of gaining wood at the moment. Reeds. I don't want to sell those. Currently reeds are really good for making my wine. Oh yeah, I could totally just break into that blade. Easy. Nothing to it. Beavers are happy, and I can put them all back on the job. Yard is working as fast as it can. Good news, because I want more of pretty much all of the resources it's capable of generating as soon as I can get them. 
definitely time to finally get some scrolls permanently being produced. That actually would have solved my problem as well. Educating the beavers would have gotten them happy enough. Sixty-five pottery, exactly. Hell yeah. Ship it. Ooh, blood flower! Hell yeah. It's gonna eat my food while I work on it, but it'll give me three parts, 20 resin, and 20 grain. Let's also break open these caches. I could consider whether or not I want to go send these to the Citadel, though. You're only giving me planks. That's the only thing you're giving me. Barrel production. You're only giving me mushrooms. Yeah, both of these get sent to the Citadel instead. I still don't have flour production, so bakery still doesn't make that much sense for us. Artisan does give us a coke production that's worth a damn, but it's like going from 2 minutes and 48 seconds and 2 cloth to 1 minute and 47 seconds and 3 cloth. So the druid's hut is even faster. It also makes packs of luxury goods, which yes, I would have the ability to ship off a lot of training gear if I really wanted to. Can I not make tea yet? When? What happened to that? I still can't. Still can't make tea. I'm, I'm re-rolling. I need to be able to make tea at some point, you see. Uh, beanery is still better production of food. But it's better production of food using resources I don't really have that much of. I'm gonna reroll again. Supplier and carpenter. This is my final reroll available. Claudia, best co production in the game. That'll do. That'll do. If I can keep everyone comfortably clothed, I think that's pretty key. to lower hostility of the general forest. Also, you're offering food. I really want to lower the general hostility of this forest. Any of these cheap enough to add on top? Nope. <laughs> Trade routes have changed. I do have the ability to sell that much, but I'm not going to. Uh, fabric, I would probably sell happily that much. I will sell 60 oil as well. Let's start there. Oh man, everyone's ecstatic. I'm gonna start getting some happiness. Some happiness rather, sorry. The happiness is gonna start giving us some resolve.
really felt like I wasn't going to be able to feed people for a long time here. Drizzle water. Drizzle water is often connected, yeah, used to power food oriented buildings. I. It hurts my soul to consider connecting pipes to this so that I can try and feed my people. But. I think it hurts my soul more not to be able to. in charge of making pipes, there you are. I'll find someone free for that in a bit. Got a bunch of events rolling up out here. Camp, really? Wait, what's that exasperated really? We're in a really good position. Root deposits. I'm fine. That that was that was a complaint that escaped my soul that didn't need. Already pretty friggin' great. Wait, I'm still sacrificing coal? <laughs> Wood? Whoops. the crystallized to you. No, sale. Send 20 across for 30? Love it. specific housing for them. Ah, uh, the education starting to come online as well. Woohoo. Yeah, I still really want some clearance access. Uh, storms rolling in, unaside all woodworkers, and still don't have enough complex food to avoid that, but one single stack of wood gets us comfortable. High level corruption, eh? Telling me I'm gonna need to get some people to do the job? Okay. That's fine. Sell a bunch of scrolls if you'd let me. I guess I'm gonna tell you all you can make up to a hundred bricks. Time for any reason, you can just make a hundred bricks. The best reason? 
needing 100 bricks. Ooh, speaking of bricks. We'll take on so many newcomers there. There we go, I have exactly enough to sell all of those bricks. And now I can set you all back down to a more reasonable 50 rather than having to wait for them to make all the bricks and then sell them. Honestly, the fact that I can make so much oil is starting to tell me that I think I should start sacrificing oil for global production speed. Two stacks of oil is plus 50% to global production speed for everything, including making more oil. That's a reroll. Forum! Leisure. Oh, no, I want brawling, not leisure. Well, at least the tavern will give me the ability to serve luxury. Let's uh, shop it out of a pump up there, and then this guy's a pump needs to be created and connected as well. Uh, I'm gonna go back to sacrificing oil. Fabric parts. I theoretically could sell parts at this point in time. Training gear, I can definitely sell a full five stack of training gear though. Because if I sold parts, I sell four stacks of them and I get 44, which is, sorry, eight parts total, and I get back one part. No, okay, I'm not selling parts. Fabric is still selling for a much better rate anyway. Clay pit and forest is hard. All of them want crystallized uh, fertile soil, and I, that's just not what I I don't work with that. None of these are that good, so I'll just take grain. Give me some, something, anything. Two trade routes are currently trying to be completed, so that will complete export really soon. And I'm gonna be able to fulfill the need for luxury really soon as well. All just comes down to get more blanks. That said, everyone's also just really happy right now. It's possible they end up just staying happy. You know what? I'm gonna sacrifice enough stacks of wood. <laughs> there we go. I'm losing a three times 36 wood per minute. That's a lot. But I also have a huge amount of wood. Yeah, that's all it took. <laughs> Prestigious expedition completed Prestige 12 for the first time. We got 112 in the food stockpiles, 25 in both machinery and artifacts, and seven sealed fragments. On top of that, we also get a royal resupply here, so I can choose to get five more seal fragments, which Really depends on what our next modifier is, okay. Untamed Wild, every dangerous and forbidden glade contains two threats instead of one! That's not bad! Those threats are positive as well. They have benefits. You... you <sighs> I really want to do that. I think it would be so much easier to do that as well with a supply package so that I get four uh, reserve embarkation points. Because those four reserve embarkation points can get us a much easier training gear delivery line. As well as 
other things to support going to a coral forest. Of course, that seems like a discussion I have in the next episode. The final discussion I have in this episode is what I'm going to do with Mamani. Still only really going to be able to purchase one impactful thing. Signing villages to small warehouses as haulers, the ability to upgrade human houses, and then farms have increased range. Tea delivery or wine delivery? Harpies? Uh, 30 seconds to save your settlement. After you reach max hostility. Plus one invocation points, and then just another plus one invocation points. Those seem pretty dramatically impactful. Permanent plus five to the storage capacity of all buildings in the settlement also does seem pretty good. Especially because it builds towards getting that again, as well as every worker in your settlement gets a permanent plus one to their carry capacity. Oh. No, that's not a line of packs and provisions, that's just packs and provisions. Okay. That embarkation bonus is worse than I thought it was. I'm gonna go for just straight up embarkation points. And that'll be it for the episode. For the moment though, my name has been Rhapsody, the name of the game has been Against the Storm, top left is a series playlist for all content on this game, past, present and future. YouTube recommendation down below, stream past the names of the people who are generally supporting the Republic on Patreon.com slash Rhapsody Plays, add or above the thank to. And a special thanks this episode to Rawsome, hopefully you'll be enjoying yourselves and hopefully we'll see you all next time.